What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that are new here, hi, my name is Rochelle and I like to make thrifting and fashion videos along with a little bit of beauty and just share my life with you guys over here on my little corner of the internet. For today's video, I am doing a styling video of all the stuff that I previously purchased in my last thrift video, which was the last video on my channel. I will uh, put it in the description box down below the link to it in case you guys want to go watch that. If you guys want to see kind of like the haul of me explaining each piece, this is going to be just me styling up each and every one of the clothing and accessory items that I ended up buying. I'm pretty sure I bought like 20 or 21 different things for my closet, so I didn't have enough time to make fun outfits out of each one. That would have taken me forever, you guys. So for today's video, I'm just gonna do a quick voiceover, tell you guys how I ended up styling each and every one of the pieces. Some of them I put together, some of them I just did on their own. I think that that is pretty much it. Let me know if you guys like these videos when it is taking all of my recent thrift finds and making actual outfits. Let's go ahead and get right on into the outfits. Starting with outfit one, I am styling this moto style jacket that I recently got. It is from H&M originally. And then I also wanted to put it with this black unitard piece that I showed you guys, or like one piece stretchy suit and the black sketcher boots that I found. So here's the base of the outfit without the jacket on, but I really feel like this outfit comes to life when you accessorize it. So I ended up throwing on the coat. I love this coat and it's big, oversized, super comfy. I'm gonna wear this a ton this winter. And then I decided to accessorize this by putting on this cute newsboy cap, I think it's called. This one is just like a pleather one. I think I got it from Amazon a few years ago. And then I also wanted to put it with a purse, so I ended up putting it with this envelope purse from Louis Vuitton. I'm pretty sure that it's just a fake. I got it at Goodwill. Um, so yeah, here's the outfit all together. I feel like it looks really cute for a nice rainy day and is also super comfortable with that unitard. Moving on to outfit two, I'm keeping the base of the outfit with the unitard and adding the champion track jacket. So I just threw that over the top and I feel like it's just super cute and sporty, good for running errands when it's a little chilly outside or even just like going for a morning walk. I also decided to add these white chunky dad sneakers just to kind of tie in the white from the track jacket into the outfit. And then I know sometimes on these fall days, it is a little bit chilly in the morning at night, but midday gets warm. So I feel like this is a cute outfit that you can just tie the track jacket around your waist. And it still shows the little champion logo and also shows off the like tying corset of the unitard. For this next outfit, I am putting together the black work pants and one of the little vintage graphic tees. This is the one that I think that is right at 20 years old. And I just really liked this outfit for our a casual running errands or going to the grocery store. And I feel like it's just a good base layer. I have on the white chunky sneakers yet again. And then I threw on my quilted puffer utility little like tote bag. I absolutely love that style that's coming in this year and have one in both white and black. So I just thought it went with the outfit. Here's a closer look at the front graphic of the top. All right, guys, moving on to style the hoodie. And then I wanted to put it with a puffer vest that I got. So I'm just going to throw this over the top of this outfit for if it gets a little bit more chilly. And then say it started raining, I would put on this puffer vest. I just like that it has the green and black. And then, I don't know, just like such a comfy laid back, kind of like sporty look. This is something I definitely would wear fall and winter. And to kind of make it a little bit more trendy and cute, I recently got these white sunglasses at Ross and I just think that they're so fun. And then I threw back on the utility puffer quilted tote bag. And I like that the sunglasses and the shoes kind of match together so that they tie in together. Hey right, guys, moving on to your guys' favorite item from the thrift haul is that pink sweater. So I put on the cute little floral dress and just these little shoes. I decided to also use the beaded bag in this one since it was all the kind of the same color scheme. And then you guys absolutely loved this pink pom-pom popcorn sweater. So I decided that I'd put it all together for an outfit that was maybe like a little bit more of a warm fall day. Um, but... I still have the sweater to keep me warm, you know? 
I loved how this all paired together and I feel like it just went together so well. Okay, moving on to the green button down blouse. This is the one that I said looks a lot like a scarf or like 70s print wallpaper. This is a classic Rochelle outfit, just a pair of little Levi's shorts. And then I put the top open with a white little uh, spaghetti strap underneath. You guys know I've been obsessed with green. And then I found this awesome, this is actually like a real military army duffel bag. I thrifted it a few months ago at my local Goodwill and I just thought that it went really well with the green blouse. Here you can kind of see the print of the blouse and my jewelry a little bit better in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> okay, moving right along to the next outfit. This is what I call my Shakira dress. When I saw this, I knew I had to have it. Um, I think it's more of like a pool cover up, but I wanted to wear it as a dress. So I did put little shorts underneath and a shirt since it's sheer. I put on these big chunky like go-go boots and um, I just love the sequins and color. This is so fun. It's a very summer piece, so to make it a little bit more fall, I did want to throw over that black sweater that I got in my last thrift haul. This one, I feel like just works well with the boots and turns it into something that's a little more realistic for cold weather. <laughs> All right, you guys, next up is this slip dress. I told you guys that this one was a little big and I was definitely right on that. I didn't have the chance to try it on, but I got it anyways, cause I loved the print. So I'm just going to use this little clip to clip it back just to show you guys what it would look like. But I will be selling this one on my Poshmark since it is too large for me. I just wanted to make it that kind of like 90s style. So I threw it over the little plain white t-shirt and put it with the black sketcher boots. I love this outfit so much. I wish that the slip dress fit me a little bit better Better, but it's okay. I will be listing it on my Poshmark. All right, guys, moving on to the floral shirt. This is the one that I said was sheer, and this is exactly what I envisioned for this outfit. I knew I had this little like sheath dress, so I wanted to put it underneath, and I think that it just kind of gives that cute 90s look too. I paired it with those chunky platform sandals and a little black bag, and it kind of ties in with the black floral in the shirt. But I just thought that this was really cute paired underneath this. I would like to look for another dress just like this yellow one in maybe black or white, um, because I think that that's definitely a look I'm trying to rock this fall time. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys like to put the shirts underneath dresses like that. Okay, moving on to this BB dress. This is the one I was saying I wasn't sure about, but this is how I imagined it. I put it underneath this sweater. I know I showed you guys this sweater in my last styling video, but the colors were perfect, you guys. The sweater and the dress has both that like bright orangey red color and then the bright magenta-y pink. And so I just thought that it would look really cute together and kind of does a little bit of print mixing. I also put the snakeskin booties on. So this outfit is just fun and wild and I loved it. Okay, moving on to a more simple outfit. Here is the graphic tee. This is something that I would just wear on a normal day-to-day -day basis when I'm hanging out at home or just running errands, going to the post office, things like that. Something that's just like really basic and nothing too exciting. But to gust it up a little, I did put on those white sunglasses and I feel like the white sunglasses make any outfit just look more stylish. So there's that one. And then the very last piece from the haul is the hang loose graphic tee. I decided to put it with these kind of baggy loose Levi's and then pair it with my favorite little Kelly green purse and this Kelly green hat that I recently got from Amazon. I feel like it really ties in with the back graphic, the green. So I just thought that it looked cute together. And this is just such a comfy outfit because everything is oversized and loose. So I loved it. All right, you guys, that is all 20 pieces that I ended up styling for you guys today. I hope you guys got some outfit inspiration. Let me know down below outfits that you liked, outfits that you didn't like, or maybe like things that you think that I should have styled differently or added onto. I always like to know what you guys think. If you guys wanna see more of how I'm wearing these on an everyday basis or more content over on my Instagram, I do try to post almost every day. 
So go follow me on Instagram for more outfit inspiration. And I love it when you guys like message me on there. I've become friends with so many of you guys and genuinely care about what's going on in your life or what you're doing when you're thrifting, when you're going on vacation. So I really enjoy connecting with you guys on a more personal level over on Instagram. Also, I did end up going to the Sacramento Antique Fair, which is kind of like an antique fair flea market, fun booths. And that's the next video that should be coming to my channel. So look out for that. And I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye! Love you, bye!